Hello everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here in today's Flip to Teacher Professional Learning video. I'm going to show you a way of freeing yourself from being stuck at the computer at the front of the room uh, and still able to control it from uh, while you're moving around the room. At the moment on the screen you can see my iPad screen. There's an app down here, it's called Doceri. Doceri is a website, a program that allows you to control your laptop remotely. So what I'm going to do is touch the uh, icon and it now takes me into the program and I've got a couple of uh, computers here that I've previously connected to and all I need to do is either touch whichever one of those I want to connect to or down in the bottom left hand corner here there's a camera icon and I can touch that and it will allow me to scan a QR code that is attached to the software on the computer to attach to a particular computer. So if I touch, touch this one here to connect to my, my laptop, I'm now controlling my laptop. So I'm going to take my laptop and go and put it in the other room. It's now over in the other room, it's over in the over in the kitchen, but I can still control it from here through my tablet. And I've got quite a lot of flexibility around what I can do. It does obviously require on your finger, or if you've got a stylus, you can use a stylus to, uh, to control. If you've got fat fingers like me, that's probably not a bad idea. But what I can do is, let's say that I need to, I need to go to another website, or another page on the website here. I'm still controlling my laptop, but what I can do is touch the relevant tab that I want to go to, and you probably saw on the screen a little marker. That tells me that confirms that the touch has been received, it's been processed. I can also do typing, so if I need to go to another website, for example, touch in the search bar, and up here in the top right hand corner there is a keyboard icon. If I touch that, it brings up a keyboard and I can now type whatever I need to type in um, as normal. You can see you've got a full range of keyboard controls there, including the function keys. So I can simply go to google.com if I need to, you can see it pulls up the history. Let's just go to the main Google site, hit enter there. To get rid of the keyboard, simply touch the, the keyboard icon again, and you can see that how easy that is. Uh, let's go back. One of the other really cool features that I've got is a drawing function. Up here, we've got a pencil icon. If I touch that, it puts me into drawing mode, and you can see across the top there a range of different options. I've got a just a regular pen. Uh, I've got a slightly thicker marker. And then I've also got a highlight. Over here there's a there's an undo button here. So if I want to undo one of the markers that I've one of the marks I've just made, I can simply touch the undo button and undo that. I can then redo it if I need to. There's also a windscreen wiper icon. Touch that and I can very very quickly erase all of the marks that I've made on the screen. I do also have some shapes. I can draw a line, I can do a square if I need to highlight a particular uh, section on the screen. I can do a circle if that's going to be more appropriate and I also have an eraser to erase different bits and pieces as well rather than using the undo or the erase all strokes. While you've got that you can also change the background pattern. Um, so if you need to do so if you need to do an algorithm on the screen while you've also got uh, controlling your computer remotely. I've got graph paper, I've got chalkboard, I've got some you know a range of different options there. I can change it to a background a flat color or I can actually bring up another image and have an image as my background to draw over as well. And you can see here there's an image, I can place an image on the screen. Depending on what you're doing will depend on which of these tools you use, but there's a lot of flexibility here. I love this tool. I've used this at one point a couple of years ago. I was teaching for a couple of lessons in the school hall. In the school hall, the room where the computer was, was not accessible in terms of, I couldn't teach from that room. Uh, it just didn't work out with the layout of the hall. So what I was able to do was connect my laptop into the system to still come up on the main screen and my students could sit up on the stage and I could still control the computer, do what I needed to do, but still be in front of them, able to talk with them, sit next to them uh, and teach as normal. I wasn't stuck away in the AV room. Really, really simple to use. The app for the tablet is free. It's available, I believe, on Android as well as iOS. The software for the computer, however, there is a fee attached to that. And you also have a tool that allows you to export something on the screen as well. So if you've been doing a particular, uh, let's say you've been doing some graph work and you want to capture a particular image, there's an option just here that allows you to export whatever that is. Um, you can share that as an image uh, with the background or without the background, or you can share it as a PDF and that will export that for you. It gives you a lot of flexibility. The other thing that you've got is the ability to record whatever is happening on your screen.
So you can still do screen recording through the iPad and, and use that however you need to. You've got your basic tools, um, your settings options over here. Uh, you can see those there. And then you're to disconnect, so to stop controlling my, uh, my computer from the iPad. Top right hand corner is the disconnect button. I simply tap that, uh, it confirms, tap OK, done, that's now disconnected. What There is a, uh, a, a trial period that you can access, so I would suggest if you're in a situation where you need to be uh, presenting remotely, or you, even if you just want to free yourself from the front of the room, but you still need to, have, you know, you still want control of the computer to be able to do things, but you want to free yourself from the front of the room, spend some time having a look at the trial version of Doseri. If you go to doseri.com, you can see that there. They are also running a deal at the moment where if you purchase the license, you also get access to their training course. Very simple set up. One of the main things that you need to that you do need to be aware of, the tablet and the computer need to be on the same Wi-Fi network, on the same computer network. There is a an app for the phone, so if you do want to control it on your phone, you can do that. Um, obviously, the phone screen is a lot smaller, it will be harder to manipulate. That's all we have time for in this FTPL video. Uh, don't forget for more FTPL videos, head to sieve21teaching.com.au and you can head to the FTPL videos page there, which you can see there. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful. We'll see you next time.